My name is Alan Beers. I'm the coordinator for the Rockland County Division of Environmental Resources, and I'd like to welcome you to Kennedy Dallas Park to celebrate the 23rd Annual County Executive's Outstanding Environmental Volunteer Award. And Tim, you should be very proud of the award you're going to receive. <laughs> Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we appreciate your social distancing and everybody wearing a mask, so thank you very much. I also want to uh, thank Nicole Leibel. Nicole, you're over there, give a wave. Nicole has helped coordinate the award ceremony for the past few years. She does a terrific job. And I also want to give special thanks to Michael DeMola and our park staff. They have worked tirelessly since this pandemic and have done a terrific job of keeping our park safe for all of our residents. So thank you, Mike and staff. I also want to thank our selection committee, which consists of Skip Pizzetti, Kathy Gallion, Sonia Cairo, and Jeff Welch. And as we've done in previous years, we always like to acknowledge our previous award winners. Starting in 1998, Charles Schwepp, Betty Hedges, Zippy Fleischer, Colleen and Harold Leidy, George Zobeline, Jeffrey Welch, Constantine Galeptos, Betty Hedges, Diane Gruskin, Jean and Robert Nelson, Catherine Dodge, Alberto Baruffi, Patsy Wooters, Bill Baker, George Patanovic. George, where are you? Raise your area is over there in the red. <laughs> Peggy Kurtz, Deb Munitz, Grace Meyer, Marnus Grenier, John LaPlaca, Lori Seaman, and last year, Margie Turin. So at this time, it's my great pleasure to turn it over to our Rockland County Executive, Ed Day. Anyway, <laughs> uh, there, there is no avoiding that. Right, I'm not as tall as Alan, first of all, obviously. First of all, I just want to uh, echo one thing. Um, I want to echo the fact that uh, our parks department, headed up by Alan and assisted by Mike and his staff, have done an amazing job. This is 170 plus acres of parkland here. Uh, this is just one of the parks we have here in Rockland County. We're very proud of them. Um, my personal favorite, sorry to say, I know uh, the village of Havistro Mayor will love this, it's the Havistro Bay Park. Um, not only for the memorial of 9-11, but the first memorial to uh, the Gulf War veterans in the state of New York. It's something we all can be proud of here in Rockland County. But uh, I know obviously we had a, 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 a slightly delayed and socially distanced 23rd annual Rockland County Outstanding Environmental Volunteer presentation today. But as I just did now, I often speak of Rockland's beauty. One of the reasons why I moved here was because of the great vistas that I saw my first visit up here, and I, I fell in love immediately with this county. Um, we have flowers and trees you see around us here, our park, our streams and rivers. Um, this year's win winter, uh, Tim has spent much time teaching young people about all that. Uh, and we were chatting earlier before um, about the, um, the role that you play with our young people and how much, how much that means to this county because you're investing in their youth and our youth will be the ones who will be taking care of this great county when we're long gone. Um, we have faced many challenges this year, probably more than anybody could ever imagine. Uh, but one of our unexpected uh, um, benefits of the situation, we started exploring our county parks. We got out, we looked around, we saw what was around us and take a look at our natural environments that we may not have taken time to do in the past because of our busy, busy lives. Um, now they are getting a chance to see and appreciate the hard work of volunteers like Tim Sanders. Uh, Tim has worked for several years on the American Eel Project in the Minisango Creek in West Havistor. This project is critical to study the population of the fish as, as travels when we're born to the Atlantic Ocean through North American estuaries like the Hudson River and its tributaries. Uh, volunteers like Tim are trained to count, weigh, and relocate the eels that are caught as part of this project. We relocate them to help uh, above the nearest barrier to help them on their long journey upstream. But not only is Tim involved in his work, but as I said earlier, he brings with him young people from Havistor, our future. Uh, and this is where Tim truly excels. Number one, and most importantly, he leads by example. Uh, if you've seen him dressed in his waders in the middle of the Minisiango Creek, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is a powerful example for our youth in Havistor and North Rockland. Uh, establishing this connection between local kids and a natural environment instills a unique type of community pride that is long lasting and frankly will affect them the rest of their lives. So it's a very special gift you're giving these young people, Tim. 
but you also understand that we must be stewards of our natural environment. He and the youth that he leads have been involved in countless park cleanups, environmental art projects, and other events that change the way these kids look at the world around them. Much as we discovered when we had some time on our hands, we saw exactly what was around us. And it's only through the efforts of people, people like Tim that Rockland County remains a beautiful place that we all cherish. And his push to involve our young people will ensure it remains that way for years to come. Tim consistently goes above and beyond his duties as a project coordinator for the Division of Youth and Family Services at the Havistraw Center. Uh, he is an innovator. He is always willing to find a new way to get our young people involved and instill them in the pride of their community. As an aside, I'm glad some of the team from the Havistraw Center could hear, be, join us here today, uh, particularly my dear friend Marion Breland, who spoke glowingly of your work, Tim, just so you know she gave you up. <laughs> um, of all your work and spirit of service to our community. So on behalf of the people of Rockland County and future generations of Rocklanders to come, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your dedication and hard work in preserving and protecting this beautiful county we call home. For everything you do today, September 23rd, 2020, we named Tim Sanders as the 2020 County Executive's Outstanding Environmental Volunteer and we are proud to plant a pink dogwood tree in your honor. I would like you, Tim, if you wouldn't mind, come up here and share some of your thoughts with me. Okay, thank you everybody. Uh, it's truly an honor and a privilege to win this award. I thank everybody for being here today. Um, making time out of your busy schedules. Um, like I was telling uh, some of my colleagues and people that I were talking to earlier this morning, especially for the kids that are going to see this uh, recording or they're watching it live, this is not just for me, this is for all of us, especially those kids that were out there with me countless hours. There's been plenty of times where, like I've learned where to put my own feelings and personal interests to the side because you never know what that kid um, experiencing through that little adventure that you're going on. There was one morning I recall as I was thinking about what I'm going to say today, and there was one morning where it was like it was a Saturday morning and it was raining, and we had the schedule clean up, and I thought we were going to get maybe like two to three kids, and I got about 20 kids to show up that day, and I told them and said, look, it's up to you guys to decide whether we're going to stay and continue this project or we're going to try to reschedule, and. Without a doubt, all of them all said that they wanted to stay, that it was important to do what we all came out to do, which was to conserve and preserve our natural environment, um, to just enhance the beauty that's within Rockland County right now. And throughout these interactions, um, it's, I've been very fortunate enough to try to instill in them the values, instill the values and morals that were instilled with me, especially like giving back. Um, it's so important whether it's you're giving back monetary or you're giving back with your time. Um, throughout these uh, adventures that I've gone on with these kids, I was able to instill like, you know, self-worth, getting them to see that they're worth, you know, going above and beyond, um, getting them to believe that they can rise above their circumstances and also at the same time, take ownership of what's in their backyard. Um, not, not many kids are afforded some of the opportunities that we have been afforded throughout our life. And it's our duty, I believe, to try to help these kids. Um, like Ed was saying, they're, they're our future. And I look at them as future seeds. So it's like my job, I feel like I have a responsibility to plant them in fertile ground, to help nurture their dreams, to help you know get them to believe that they're, that they're worth everything that we're trying to invest into them. And at the same time, we have a choice too. We can either plant them in fertile ground or we can let them fall like seeds into unfertile ground. But when we plant them in fertile ground and tend to them daily, all we have to do is sit back and wait in anticipation to see what they blossom into. And that's what I choose to do. I'd rather sit in anticipation and wait to see what these young, brilliant individuals turn into. And at the same time, take care of my own backyard and get to learn new things. Uh, like I was talking to Lori Seaman and Joanna about different things of how to connect nature and art. And there's so many different ways, whereas like, you know, some people need like so many different supplies. We don't need that. 
you can use you can take a rock crush it up and you can make art out of that you know so it is through these different adventures and exposures that i've been blessed to work with these wonderful kids and i feel that i'm not too old to learn and they're not too young to teach so i try to keep that spirit with me every day and uh, like i said before this is not just for me i plan to take bring these kids back here to see our tree and um, there's one young lady in particular that I wish could be here today, but she, I know she's watching down on us right Aww. there. And it was through this young lady, Ayana, that I was able to get a bunch of other girls to go into the river with me, put on waders, <laughs> stick their hands into a net and grab eels. Okay, she was the first young lady that, that participated with me in the eel project. And through her was able to get many more. So this is also for her too, and this is for everybody that helps support us. Um, I appreciate it, and this is not, like I said before, it's not just for me, it's for everybody who helped out along the way. And I just sit back in anticipation, waiting to see what our future holds for us. And I thank you again for coming out. Uh, I appreciate you all, thank you. You're not allowed to go anywhere yet. Not yet, not yet. It, it comes with all these honors we, we give you. It wasn't just a treat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, this, is, this is the Rockland County Executive Vol Environmental Volunteer Award. Um, Tim's name is right here. This will be hanging up proudly in our offices in Rockland County government. Yeah. And I just want to acknowledge Tim again for uh, joining a very a superlative group of people who have meant so much to this county. So, this is yours for the moment. So yeah. hang on. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You got to give it back. Yeah. Yeah, I got to give it back. Yeah. <laughs> While we're doing accolades, um, we have with us today Legislator Harry Cornell, who has been a, a leader in environmental uh, efforts here in Rockland County. I'd like to have Harry come up, and I'm sure she has some acknowledgement for us. Outstanding Environmental Volunteer, uh, as you know, was created 23 years ago and has been one of the most meaningful for many of us. It's not an award given by a local organization to a financial donor or to a hoped-for donor, even though those are very important. It's an award given to a volunteer, and the range of activities performed by past recipients of this award has been broad. I guess I can take this off for a moment. Today we honor a man who is not only concerned about the environment and climate change and volunteers in a variety of ways, but also, as you've heard, works with children so they grow up understanding the importance of protecting the environment. To really understand why Tim Sanders has been selected as this year's Outstanding Environmental Volunteer, I hope you will all treat yourself to uh, photos of the young children in waders coming, counting, and releasing the uh, young eels in the Hudson. And I know you've got photos because I was sent one and I saw it, and I'd love to have one that I could keep because it's just amazing. Uh, their happy faces reveal what their time with Tim means to them. He has involved children from the Haverstraw Community Center in this DEC 
the um, eel project for many years, as well as getting them involved in park cleanups and Rockland's planning land use program. Uh, not only are these children learning about environmental protection, they are becoming stewards of their community and their world. And I thank you to Tim for that. Um, I do have a, an, an award for you. Thanks so much, Mr. Executive. Uh, this is the Distinguished Service Award of the County of Rockland, Tim. Uh, in grateful appreciation for service rendered to the County of Rockland, New York, given this 23rd day of September 2020, it's signed by the Chair of the Legislature, Alden Wolf, and presented by uh, Harriet Cornell. So we have a responsibility to um, about the teaching, older teaching older and learning. Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. We, are, we are not too old to learn, learn. and they are not too young to teach. teach. Okay, this concludes this portion of the ceremony. We'd like to gather down in the corner there by the tree to officially dedicate it to Tim.